So the reason that uh, that that Amber and Briley and Rick are up here is because uh, obviously their connection to Playboy. But in anticipation of the uh, 55th anniversary Playmate search coming to town April 15th and 16th, we've invited some some young ladies up to the studio who think they might like to participate in the 55th anniversary Playmate search. Now, uh, nothing will be officially decided tonight, but no. what we thought we could do, uh, ladies and, and gentlemen, is uh, bring the girls in, kind of talk to them about what to expect, get a look at them, and uh, what I'm really hoping, and this is so self-serving, what Did I'm really naked? hoping... No, oh. that's, oh, that's your. That's what I asked. Yeah, yeah, that's your version of self. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Amber. Okay. Possible. You asked me that at the search, Rick. You're, What's you, wrong okay. with that? Okay, you're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah, my version of self-serving is, and that's fine. But uh, my version is that I would love for the 55th anniversary Playboy Playmate to somehow originate through our Wild Ass Circus waters. Yeah. If she got naked in your studio, it'd be all the better. The first exactly. Time. That's how we get it on record. Yeah. Now here's our uh, here's our uh, first contestant. What's your name? Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Jennifer and I have actually not, not met before. So, um, all right. Uh, and you're kind of, you are, uh, you're tall. Are you not tall? I'm 5'7". 5'7", all yes. right. The the taller end of average for sure there. Yes. All right. Now, uh, right off uh, the bat, guys, what are we going to, uh, what are we going to look for if she gets involved in the uh, 55th anniversary playmate? What kind of recommendations would we make? What would we tell her to expect? What's she going to be walking into? Jennifer, step over here again. <laughs> Put your hands against the glass up there. Turn towards me. Okay, that's great. See, that now that's nice. So that's a nice line on her. Now turn the other way a little bit. Hips toward. That's nice. See, she's got quite a few good points. You're right, Rick. <laughs> You're right. That's Thank a you. that's a pretty cool party trick right there. I don't know. I don't know if I could pull that off, but I'll try it. Yeah, nicely Rick done. Uses that one well. All right. He's never gonna erase those handprints. Yeah. So 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 Jennifer, uh, so far so good. You think this is something you could maybe do uh, coming up April fifteenth and sixteenth? Yeah, I actually have an appointment. I'm gonna be there. Oh, awesome! You're already yeah. signed up. Yeah, oh, that's I'm fantastic. There. Okay. And of course, you know to uh, you know again product. Play Placement. I mean, if this thing ends up going a little ways, try to keep working in the name of the show. Absolutely. I'll do that for you. Okay. Who's awesome. not up here in studio with us tonight that wants to sign up. What are we, uh, what are we expecting in terms of uh, when, you, when you sign up? What do, what do you need from them online? We talked about like uh, maybe submitting a photo in a bikini or something like that, Rick. Do they need to do something like that? I was distracted when she walked in. I was too. I, I, I haven't heard a word you Lost that said. whole thing. Well, I can tell you're not a radio <laughs> professional. <laughs> Panel, Amber, Briley, Rick, what are we thinking uh, just well, right offhand? You got questions for Paige. Well, I know that Amber and I, we both kind of locked on, you know, Paige as she walked by. So she got our attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. What got your attention? That's <laughs> okay. all right. I'm I'm partial to blondes. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should. You know, let me. She's let me very nice press. Okay, let's Thank describe. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> what, let's, I took the pressure off Rick. There Thank you. you. All right, let's describe Paige here. Paige has a uh, uh, blonde hair. Bit, and cute dimples. Kind of curly. Cute. Yeah, yeah. yeah nice great dimples. Big smile. Very infectious smile. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How tall are you, Paige? Five six. Okay, Paige is, is uh, five six, and Paige is uh, is quite voluptuous, quite curvy, mm -hmm. eh? Thanks. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, well, there's there's no a associated with the the North End. What <laughs> what, uh, what 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 size? Uh, you um, know, what are we talking I'm about a here? Thirty four double D. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I like. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know what Paige, what Paige uh, uh, immediately, and of course, this is from the the amateur observer's uh, perspective, but somebody who's seen a few Playboys in their time. See, to me, Paige has a real classic Playboy look to her. You know what I'm saying? Right. Very curvy, very, mm -hmm. very, uh, and in in the most positive sense. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if cartoonish is a good adjective, but I mean something that looks like that jumps off the pages. You know, something that looks like. I cannot possibly run into that woman at the grocery store. They just, they don't go to the grocery store. You, you follow? You know what I'm saying? I, I follow yes. what you're saying. Yeah. Proportions beyond just the normal exactly. girl next door. Exactly. Uh, memorable. Ex Heather, did you, uh, had you heard that Playboy was coming to town uh, to do this model search uh, before? Or just, did you just hear about it? Through? Okay, you did hear about it.
hear about it. Cool. All right. Uh, now, have you done? Uh, uh, Heather is in a uh, very flattering red sequin bikini. I always love the bikinis that are completely dysfunctional for the beach. You know I what I mean? I actually yeah. wore a bikini just like that to Hef's Fourth of July party, and you cannot get it wet. Yes. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I could only do the slip and slide once, and I tried <laughs> not to get wet. Well, very nice. Well, it's a, it's it's a good choice for you. Uh, we we meet Heather ideas for uh, you know if uh, she comes to. Uh, the auditions on the 15th and the 16th. What about the uh, the choice of bikini? Amber said she'd yeah. worn something similar to that at the mansion, so probably a good choice or no? Yeah, yeah Heather, can you turn around? Oh, that's... I like, I got like a basic, very, the but scrunchy it's butt. Very nice body. It's basic, mm -hmm. It makes your butt look better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? The scrunchy Cute. butt. Mm -hmm. See, she's already, she already knows what looks good on her. Oh, head. okay. Now, is it when you say the scrunchy it's butt, now, uh, when I think scrunchy, I mean, the, I, I'm thinking of that thing you wear around your wrist to do the ponytail. You're talking about, <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the actual cut of the bikini where it's, it's right. you know, it's too small in the good way. Yeah, that's it what you're shows talking your about, butt right? more. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so, kind so of that's... Like a, permanent wedgie kind of uh, permanent wedgie you know if somebody in has a a, if somebody hasn't launched way. that clothing wedgie. line they need to they need to think <laughs> about it now what's the uh, now, heather you've got a you got a small tattoo down here by your uh, pelvic region what what is that 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 looks like a that looks like a microscopic version of what takes uh, up uh, Henry Rollins' entire back. You ever seen the Search and Destroy uh -huh. tattoo? What is that? It's a it's, it's like a, a sun, sun right? Uh -huh. Okay, and then the belly button uh, ring right by that. What's the uh, what's the current position with Playboy? On? I can still remember. Now this is me right. dating myself here. <sighs> I can remember the first time I saw a Playboy centerfold and went, "Whoa, tattoo!" Yeah. I mean, now yeah. lots of girls have yeah. those, right? I mean, and what's the thought? Well, what it is is. Playboy tries to represent the girl next door. Mm -hmm. The girl next door now has a tattoo, and yeah. that's just Playboy rolls with that. So having a tattoo in no way bars a girl from coming in or anything like that. Exactly. I was worried yeah, about that, too, because normally you think of, you know, Playboy models, and they just have no, perfect No, and I've bodies seen, and, Rick, you know, I've seen uh, issues where girls have had tattoos, and they just pose you in a certain way where it's not distracting from the whole photo, and... So yeah, yeah, definitely it's. And the, if they if it was something they didn't like, they could click click airbrush it in yeah. two Dermot seconds. So one more time, you can go to bigdickhunter.net, click on the link uh, if you want to be a part of Playboy's 55th anniversary Playmate search. All right.